Welcome back to Deus Ex Invisible War. We've arrived at Liberty Island, and we need to find the computer containing the Aquinas specifications on the lower level of UNATCO, and then after that, merge with J.C. Denton. And bring about a great advance for civilization and for humanity itself. missing them or something. Oh, the Greys are helping me. Oh my god, thank you. Oh, that was an Illuminati. I guess I made too much noise. Actually, or was that Illuminati? No, no, it kind of goes invisible, but that's definitely not Illuminati. It's a hunter-seeker. Hmm. Maybe we can just go this way. Alex, I'm on the North Dock. Come see me. North Dock. That is that way. You know, I've like never used my compass ever. This is like the first time, I think, ever, that I've actually used my compass to find a direction. Every island east side. I don't think... Oh wait, actually the North Dock is over there. Yeah. Cool. It up. It's going to be released. Hmm. Seems like we're safe for now. This North Dock looks very different from how I remember in the original Deus Ex. For one, there's no water. Why aren't you at the statue with JC? I can't leave these bots unattended, or they might fall into the hands of one of our enemies. Are their legs frozen or something? The bots are fine. It's cracked processors in the housing units that have prevented me from bringing them online. JC warned me that the eutactic nature of the statue reconstruction would require him to drop the temperature, but this is quite extraordinary. How's he able to control the weather? You can do it with a nanite swell. The particles absorb kinetic energy, which is then emitted as light. By the time I arrived, though, the glow had subsided, so our choppers had no warning and crossed into the zone too quickly. Can the housing units be repaired? Yes, it's a simple repair. I just seem to have left Trio without any multi-tools. All right, I'll help you out. Oh, thank God, ammo. friendly rope. Man, it's gonna take like all of my multi-tools. Not literally, but quite a few of them. Is that a formal quest? I guess I'll go back to Tracer and just see if they say anything. 
Good work. Now I will take action. What are you going to do? You've seen more of the island than I have. Where do you think the bots will do the most good? Uh... The safest option would be to consolidate JC's defenses around the statue. Good advice. The important thing is to protect the interface to Helios and the Aquinas network. Exactly. Then it will be time for you to do your part, Alex. Everything depends on you. Oh, I don't have any concussive grenades left. An explosion. Explosives would really be good for them all grouped up like that. But then again, I've got a pretty good amount of ammo at this point. Oh, I guess they kind of blew up themselves, didn't they? Thanks to my turret. Nice. I really need health, though. I need a normal enemy that I can drain from. Bunker K. Whoa. Are they fighting? Oh, I think they're fighting the Illuminati. Yeah. Well, they can just duke that out, then. Just fight each other, have fun. Hey, I remember going- I remember going down into this bunker thing in the original Deus Ex. I remember it. Killed salmon. Uh, I think I'll blow this up. Oh, I bet there's something back here. Well, that's lame. What do I blow it up with, though? I don't have any concussive grenades. Uh. Well, that doesn't work. Eh, I'll just leave it. Not that big of a deal. I've actually got a pretty good amount of ammo. Even though they're both alive, I think the Illuminati probably were killed. Yeah, looks like it. South Dock. Now he's coming. Let him duke it out a bit. Oh, shit. Um, I think it's time for some spidery help. I'm so dead. <laughs> There's no way I was getting out of that. Um, I think I probably should not kill the power armor people because there's a lot of Illuminati there. What is this nonsense? See if I get their attention with that. Enough of these drills. 
Yes. Yeah, it worked. Nice. Pitted them against each other. Oh wow, everybody's coming. Good luck, Tracer. Oh no, you don't. Thanks, Gray. I appreciate the help. Our colony is strengthened in number from your rescue. I think there's some supplies over here. Not that I really need much in particular. Again, still doing pretty good on ammo. Uh, oh, wait, this is... We've looped all the way back around to where I started. Oh. Well, let's head on inside. Welcome. It's hard to believe that our hard work uh, is nearly done. Paul, you okay? Are you sure we can trust JC? Even after the merger in Antarctica? Have you looked around? All he's done, I have to wonder about his sanity. This is what we've been working toward ever since I uncovered the truth about UNATCO and MJ-12, even if I didn't realize it at the time. I trust his vision. He intends to give every human being a nanite infusion. That doesn't seem drastic to you? His vision isn't easy to comprehend because he's operating on a higher level now. We just have to trust his wisdom, and soon we'll all share in it. There you go, Paul. I freed you. You rescued my brother, but not before letting the Templars make him into a lab monkey. Just like I was at Tarsus. You have no reason to hate us, Alex. Your enemies have occupied the island. I have no enemies, merely topographies of ignorance. The people drift aimlessly, collecting into clans, wherever they find a glimmer of knowledge. You don't sound worried. You're wasting time. I want you to locate the Aquinas specification inside UNATCO. When Helios has recovered its hub privileges, you'll step into the infusion chamber and the nanites in your body will be replicated in the air and ultimately in the bloodstreams of every last human being. Why do they say that I only rescued Paul after I let the Templars, like, experiment on them or whatever Jay-Z just said. I, what? They made it sound like I kind of went against Paul and Jay-Z, but no, I've been doing everything they've wanted exactly to the letter. With this act, the geography of human thinking will be leveled every month. Oh, this is where Unaco is, on the south dock. Oh, that is a lot of Illuminati. Uh oh. Um. Distraction bots. The target has bio mods. Maybe I can get him from super far away. Nice. Got two of them in there. Third one, fourth one, that should take him out. Let's throw some distraction bots over there initially, before they're flocked onto me. Can I actually get their bodies before they totally, like, explode? Whoa. Oh, I found more grace. Thanks, little buddy. I 
don't need you, Alex. I can restore Aquinas myself. I just sent my commandos into you, Natco, to make sure you don't transmit the protocol data to the wrong place. Good luck with that. Illuminati encampment. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them. Oh, boy. God, I wish I had frag grenades. Damn it. I wonder if they're susceptible to flashbangs. Maybe. I guess I'll try throwing a flashbang over there. I think it worked. Uh oh. Oh, this is perfect. They can't hit me. I think that just leaves maybe one. Hmm, them showing up as an enemy, which is curious. Oh no, you are. I don't really. The body must be dead, or we won't be certain of our enemy's fate. Okay. They're dead. The body must be dead, or we won't be certain of our enemy's fate. Can I kill them with a wine glass? Them with the wine glass. <laughs> Blunt force trauma from a wine glass. I can see somebody dying from being cut by a wine glass, but not blunt force trauma. Here, why don't you join your friend? Underground entrance. Oh, there's a bunch of ammo in there. Um, let me. Can I like destroy it with this? No, oh, damn. You really, literally need an explosive. All right, it's fine. It's worth it. Combat knife. Oh well. I don't feel like reading that. You can read that if you'd like. Oh. Eh. Nah. Oh, here's Unatco. Yeah, so that actually was not Unatco. Even though there's a sign there that says Unatco, that's talking about further down the street. Need to heal so bad. Alex, I'm here. I took cover in the comm van by the Unatco ruins. Let's talk. Time to decide who we're gonna bring down first. Yeah, so also I have a quest, by the way, called a Renegade. Wipe out the leaders of each faction and destroy JC's machine. This will eliminate the possibility of any of their plans being completed. So I think that's who um 
Christ, I forgot that guy's name. The person who just contacted us. I think that's what mission they're going for, is being a renegade. I do not want that, though. Not at all. I remember this place in the original Day 6, too. Man, this was a hell of a first mission. It was long and hard, and that didn't sound right. I'm freezing my ass off out here. The Omar shut down my Enviro suit remotely. What are we gonna do? They're searching for data that will let them restore the pre-collapse communications grid. Which they will appropriate for themselves, whoever finds it first. That's the impression I get. It doesn't take a genius to see that they all want one thing, to force their system or whatever on the rest of us. The world is doing just fine without a supreme leader. We can't just walk away from this. We can after we eliminate the leadership of these factions and destroy whatever it is J.C. Denon is building inside the statue. You mean kill everybody on the island? The leaders. The ones dragging the rest of the planet into this mess. J.C. Denton's utopia machine, whatever it is. I'm ready to back you up. Just give me an assignment. Hang tight for now. Whatever you say. I brought you something from Cairo, by the way. The biomod canister on the crate over there. It was a payment from the Omar. Personally, I'm done with biomodification. What's the problem? Thanks, Leo. Scared? Investigating specific threat. Severe damage. There we go. This place is just in shambles compared to how it was before. Wow. Who are you? Just scurry on by, I'm busy. Okay. Level one. That was an accident. Are they okay? They don't seem red. Oh wow. Thank god the EMP didn't hurt them. Get this feeb! He's got meat. Are they talking to me? Yeah, there's a there's um there's a lot of civilians down here. Should be careful. I like that this game only has one cork board. I've seen it I think at least three times, and it's always exactly the same. That just killed a civilian. That actually kind of works out for me, though, to be honest. Sorry. Drone construct initiating breakdown. Absorbing. Breakdown complete. By the skull of sight. Oh, old cleaning drone just doing its best in the apocalypse. What is this I mean, it's not really the apocalypse, but this place seems like the apocalypse. Love my defense drone. Why are there so many signs that say level one? 
Level one. Level one. Level one. I get the picture. I remember this place. This was like the, uh, it was like a, a storage room or like supply depot. Like you come to the window and ask to be outfitted for the next mission sort of thing. Ah, memories. Is this it? This is goal complete. Find the spec. Did I really find it though? Upload spec to JC Denton. God, Illuminati. Uh oh. Opponent hiding. I think I made it. Holy shit, I did. I have literally no hit points. Oh no, 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 there's more Illuminati up here. Crap. I'm sorry. Ah! I need help. Ah! 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 This is suicide. Ah! Dang it. I still got a decent amount of health. Ooh, there is you, though. Wow, we got a lot of resistance out there. The uh, game crashed. Let's try that again. I almost want to like sneak past him. This is going to be extremely hard. Would EMP proximity mines do anything? Oh, whoa. What's going on? Okay. Oh, it's Leo Jankowski! You beautiful, beautiful person. I hate you, but you sure are good as a distraction. See ya. Here we go. will speak. Year of our union, 125. Our consensus remains clear. Yes, we will prolong this second century of peace. Economic automation is complete. Our research will now encompass other frontiers. Yes, this is the consensus we have created. Our unity will soon be absolute. The remaining boundaries are vanishing. Yes, Share your mind with everyone. Open yourself. Your needs are the needs of all. Let us understand and be transformed. Yes, transform each other and transform yourselves. The only frontier that has ever existed 
is the self. Helios has spoken. Okay, and there we go. There is invisible war. We have now created some sort of weird utopia, which seems kind of good, but also kind of oppressive. But at the same at the same time, everybody's going to be happy, so I guess they won't feel oppressed. So yay, yay, yes, woohoo! <laughs> okay, so let's end with some thoughts on Deus Ex: Invisible War. I started out by saying this was probably the least liked out of all the Deus Ex games, and I can certainly see why. It's really very, very shockingly bad. It's very bad. However, it's actually bad in a really fun way. Like, it's it's so bad and so goofy that it was actually really entertaining to play. It was like a really fun and cheesy B-movie, except in game form. It was just really fun. But um, yeah, almost everything about it's really bad. The voice acting is incredibly wooden. It also continues the Deus Ex tradition of having a protagonist that is incredibly boring and bland. JC Denton was monotone and boring. Um, Alex Denton is monotone and boring. And in the later games, um, Adam Jensen is also incredibly boring and bland and monotone. It's an astoundingly ugly game. It's so gray and desaturated and everything is just so lifeless and stiff. It's very ugly. I mean, the original Deus Ex was never particularly pretty. It was always very bland and it wasn't all that colorful or anything like that. Very, It had very large environments that you could explore around, but there wasn't all that much inside of them. So it gave a good sense of freedom, but definitely didn't look all that great to begin with. But this game looks, I think, even worse. There's just something even less good about how it looks. And at the same time, the environments are also incredibly, unbelievably limited compared to how they were in the original Deus Ex and the future Deus Exes. One of the most fun things about the Deus Ex franchise for me is the freedom to go around a large environment and kind of make your own pathway through it. But this game, there's very, very little of that. You're extremely limited because the levels are just minuscule. They're incredibly tiny. Um, you're basically never really rewarded for exploring very much. Like, I kept looking up to see if I could find any, you know, like, vertical way I could go to maybe go up, go through a window, enter a building, but there's, like, never anything up. Ever. There's virtually no verticality to the game whatsoever. Levels are tiny, there's constant load screens, which is really annoying. It's just, yeah, the... I think that's probably the biggest issue with Deus Ex Invisible War, honestly. That's kind of the crux of what made Deus Ex so fun and feel like such a sandbox is having this huge environment to explore. And that is just missing from here. The economy of the game makes no sense whatsoever. I kept finding all this money, but there was literally like almost nothing for me to spend it on. At least nothing of any value at all to me whatsoever. I ended the game with what, like 4,000, 5,000 credits or something like that? There's just nothing to spend my money on. There were like three traders in the entire game. The whole storyline was so silly, especially the Illuminati being the actual ones behind the Order and the WTO. That shocking, that shocking twist. Oh my god, that's just that is complete nonsense. It's like, alright, shrug. Honestly, in every single way I can think of, it is just completely inferior to the original Deus Ex. However, it does have one really good thing going for it, and it's, it's a big one. It's what made it actually fun for me to play throughout, and it never really got... Uh, too boring or too annoying, and that's the fact that it's really damn goofy and charming. Again, going back to sort of the B-movie or B-game thing, it's it's sort of so bad it's almost good. You know, it's not particularly frustrating, even playing on the hard difficulty, it wasn't particularly hard, so I didn't have to redo things too many times, it wasn't a super long game, so it didn't outstay its welcome. The voice acting was hilarious, the, the coffee bean wars and the wacky quests you have to do, like finding a grey alien in the basement of a nightclub, like, oh my god, the quests are just so weird. And the abilities that you have, including the black market ones especially, like the, the one I got to become a vampire basically, your health leech drone, that is so grim and weird and cool. It's uh, yeah, Deus Ex Invisible War is very, very different from all the other Deus Exes. All in bad ways, to be honest, but 
it certainly stands out from the rest of them. It is, it is unique. And it was fun. It was wacky and a pretty good time. Uh, I would not play it again, though. All right, so that has been Deus Ex Invisible War. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.